Hey everybody, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a lovely day. I know I am. Today I am back with another real quick video and I wanted to come to y'all today and talk to y'all about Diddy, Nicki Minaj being arrested. Also, I want to uh, talk about what happened with Kelly Rowland on the red carpet. So before we get into that, I'm gonna need for y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video. Like up the video, be active in those comments and share, share, share my videos with your family, friends, haters, innovators, whoever you wanna share them with, but just make sure you share, okay? And we are gonna get into it. So I'm pretty sure that everyone has seen by now the surveillance video that CNN had released of Diddy physically and brutally assaulting Cassie Ventura back in 2016 at the Intercontinental Hotel. Now, in that video, this man was seen throwing glass objects at her, stomping her, kicking her, punching her, pulling her by her hair. And that one moment when he had pulled her by her hair and then let her go and she turned around, I felt like, man, that girl wanted to say, nigga, if I could, I will kill ass right now. And I know I shouldn't say that, but especially when it came to this particular event and date right here, we seen that in that video. Baby girl didn't miss a beat. She didn't skip a scenery. None of that. She explained everything down to the motherfucking T. And we seen it in that video. To the point where you got niggas like Slim Thug coming out saying they sorry. And this, that, and the third. And I'm like, boy, that apology is just as weak as the one that Diddy called himself putting out. Which was a horrible move. A horrible move. And what I find funny is, is the fact that this video comes out not long after what's his name christian tristan justin whatever the dark skin one that looked just like his ass he came out with that 50 cent diss track and then he called himself shading the fbi because in the diss track this stupid mofo he goes and say something along the lines of y'all forgot about the house next door we own that one too and i'm like is this blow or something because why in the hell would you say something like that? Because now they could want to go and get a warrant for that house too. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. This is what I think. This is what Ian thinks. This is not what happened. I think that the FBI is the ones who probably, you know what, since the statute of limitation, we can't get your daddy on this, and you out here running your mouth the way you is, we finna lay this right here on the table for you, sir. We finna lay this right here on the table. Now go talk to your dad. That's what I think the FBI did. I think that CNN got that video footage from the FBI, and I think that's what they found in Diddy House. I don't know what happened, but that's, that's just my speculation. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, sir, why are you even speaking on this? Because you got uh, allegations against you too, where a woman is alleging that he sexually assaulted her on a yacht. So why are you even out here just shh, shh, stop talking. Stop, stop talking, sir. Because it's not helping. And then after the surveillance video was released, you have Diddy out here on these people internet with this weak ass i don't know what the hell that was because it wasn't an apology this man talked about himself the whole time oh i was up i was disgusted with myself then and i'm disgusted with myself now nine OS just disgusted because the world got to see the true monster that you really are i went and seek therapy well nigga you need to go get a refund because bitch you were still out here terrorizing the fucking world because fast forward to today, there's a new lawsuit out there where a model by the name of Crystal McKinney, who is suing Diddy and alleging that Diddy drugged her and essayed her back in 2003. Now she said that in the lawsuit that she was introduced to Diddy through her people and when she met him, Diddy promised her stardom. He promised to make her a star. He was gonna do this and that for her or whatever. And one day he invited her back to his studio one night. And when she got there, she claims that there was a lot of men there and they smoked weed and she felt like, damn, this weed is a little bit stronger than what I'm used to and maybe it could have been laced. 
And so she said Diddy had told her to follow him. She followed him into the bathroom and that's where she claims the essay took place. Then she says the next thing she know is, is that she's waking up in this taxi. So what she did was is that she took the clothes that she had on from that night and she put them in a bag. And she's kept those clothes up until this lawsuit. That means that that lady done had them clothes for 20 years. And if the statute of limitation, which I'm pretty sure has probably ran out, um, hopefully he has to pay this lady this civil suit. I am glad that more people are speaking out because people just don't understand how hard it is to speak out when you have been essayed. Cassie had later on came out with a statement thanking everybody for their support and their encouraging words. And she also wanted to let people know that this is not about just him. This is about domestic violence as a whole. And she also said that you should believe people the first time when they tell you that they're going through something like this. And she also extended her hand out to people who are currently going through this and who is living in fear. So I just want to commend Cassie for even speaking out and going forward with filing that lawsuit because people are starting to open their eyes and they're pulling back from Diddy because that type of behavior, it should not be tolerated, period. Regardless of what type of power or what type of tax bracket you're in, that behavior should not be tolerated. Even though the statute of limitations may have ran out in this particular instance, I do feel like there's going to be someone that comes out that is going to put him behind bars. And we're just gonna have to stay tuned. Drop me in the comments down below and let me know what y'all think about that situation. And we're gonna move on to Miss Kelly Rowland because that security guard was disrespectful as hell. There's a video on the internet circulating around of Kelly Rowland at the Kansas Film Festival. And there was an incident with her and Karen, the security guard, who was out there carrying in real hard on the red carpet. Kelly Rowland, let's just start here. May I say how beautiful and gorgeous Kelly Rowland was in that red dress with that blonde bob wig with the blue eyeshadow. Her makeup was beautiful. She was beautiful. The dress was beautiful. She was just beautiful, okay? While she's walking up the red carpet, you have here in the security guard that's rushing her up the red carpet, which I'm pretty sure there was people there that paparazzi was like, Kelly, 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 Kelly. And you got Karen, the security guard, that's rushing her up the stairs. Kelly Rowland had turned around and was like, hey, let her know, hey, you need to chill. So Karen, the security guard, still Karen, is really starting to do the most and kind of like trying to force her up the stairs. So then after a while, her and Kelly Rowland exchange words and you can't hear what is said, but Based off of the interpreter, anybody can read lips for real, for real. And what you can see Kelly Rowland was, was like, don't talk to me like that. It was like getting her together, like, don't talk to me like that. Some people were in the comments trying to say that Kelly Rowland was overreacting. I don't think that she was overreacting. I think that you can clearly see in the video 
where Karen was doing the fucking most. Later on, another video had started circulating of Kelly Rowland kind of sort of speaking out on as to what happened. And she was like, there was people on that carpet that did not look like me. And I have boundaries and I stood my ground. And Karen, the security guard, felt as though she had to stand hers. The, the woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I have a boundary. And I stand by those boundaries. And that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded, or pushed off, or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand there, so I stood my ground. The hurt in Kelly Rowland's eyes was just, it was heartbreaking because we are in 2024 and we have to deal with fucking Karens. It is, it's just beyond me. But what also proved that Karen, the security guard, was really doing the most was that she did it again to a Dominican actress. And I do apologize if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, but I believe it's pronounced Lizelle Tavares. But she did it again to her. But the only thing is, so there is, she pushed her ass like we wanted Kelly to do, okay? Miss Severance wasn't playing with her. Miss Severance handled this white dress that had a train on the back of it. And on the train was, as you could kind of make out, it was a picture of Jesus with a crown on his head. And if they would have let her walk up the stairs, like she wanted to, they would have been able to see the train, but they were being rude. They kept messing up the train to where she had to keep shaking it out and throwing it back on the carpet so people can capture pictures of her dress. And it was just a disaster. Like, that type of shit will make you not want to go to those type of events again. Drop y'all comments down below and let me know what y'all think about that situation. And we're going to move on to Miss Nikki Minaj, honey, because um, Miss Nina got arrested over there in Amsterdam, okay? So, Saturday, Nikki Minaj was arrested for carrying pre-rolls through the airport in Amsterdam. Now, all of this was captured on Instagram Live. In the video, you can hear the security guard saying that, hey, they're his, and basically trying to justify that it's legal over there. And my whole thing was is that, sir, just because it's something that's legal somewhere, that don't mean you can bring that shit through them people's airport. You can't even do that here in America where it's legal in certain states. You can't be going over there halfway knowing these people laws and stuff. Because you got some people that are from there that saying that weed ain't even legal over there, it's just tolerated. Second of all, why was his pre-rolls with her stuff? And why is this not a drug-free, non-alcohol tour? Now, in my opinion, I don't feel as though the police were being rude to her or being mean to her. They were asking her politely to stop filming. And she was going back and forth with them, basically saying that you guys asked me if there was any more and I told you there was no more in my bags and they're not mine. I'm not carrying drugs. She refused to get in the van. She said, look, I gotta have my lawyer present. And my thing is like, girl, if you was in over here in America, they probably would have snatched that damn phone from you. And even if you were over here in America, they are still going to make you come down to that precinct and wait on your lawyer down there at the precinct. Ain't no, we gonna sit here until my lawyer get here before I go down there to the precinct. Then she gets into the van and she was like, see, I told y'all they was gonna try to make me late for my show. No, ma'am, these people aren't trying to sabotage your, your show. You need to take responsibility for allowing this type of behavior on your tour. And that's one thing I don't like about Nicki Minaj is the fact that she don't take responsibility for the part that she plays in certain situations. That's the only thing that I don't like about Nicki Minaj and she loves to play victim. Carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question you need. Uh, I think it's. I'm not carrying drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, okay. I need a lawyer present now. Okay. Please, where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. To go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes. What's what's the address of the police precinct? When you uh, will get your next show, we have to do it very fast, and we will help. But you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We told that they were about to try to get to there. 
they'll help to try to get me to my yes. show. How? Uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I you never gave anyone. My, I never. Oh, I'm. Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? So if I only know. I'm under arrest for what? Do you so know what happened now, when I came yes, here? Go inside. Huh? What you said? Can you please stop them? No, I need a lawyer. But I, because I don't know where I'm going. You get the lawyer. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? He will go with you. Later on that night, Nicki Minaj did get on social media and put down the address to the hotel that she was at, and the fans did show up and show out for her. She was very apologetic as to what happened, and then she did promise that she will be coming back because the show was eventually canceled. I hate this happened to her. I need Nicki Minaj to get a stronger team. She needs someone that's not going to play with her ass. That's going to be like, bitch, do you want this shit or not? Because Nicki Minaj is too talented, but she gets in her own way sometimes. And I feel like that's the reason why she isn't where I feel like Nicki Minaj could be. Drop down comments down below and let me know what you guys think about everything. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.